I to the 67th can be rewritten as which of these? Let's find out. I is defined as the square root of negative 1, and I squared is negative 1. Now with I cubed, well, I could think of that as I times I squared. So I times negative 1, which is negative I. Now, with i to the fourth, I could think of this as i squared times i squared, and that's negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. And with the next four, I can rewrite these as i to the fourth times something else. And since i to the fourth is 1, I notice that i to the fifth is equal to i to the first, i to the sixth is equal to i squared, and so forth. So I notice that this cycles. We have i, negative 1, negative i, 1. i, negative 1, negative i, 1, and so forth. So here's the pattern. If we have i raised to some whole number, all we have to do is divide that exponent by 4 and see what the remainder is to see which of these it is. And here's something cool. We can connect this to the complex plane. We have our real numbers and our imaginary numbers. So all we have to do is keep rotating counterclockwise to get our answer. i, negative 1, negative i, 1, and so forth. So because when we divide 67 by 4, we get a remainder of 3, we can rewrite i to the 67th as negative i. So there you have it. If you want practice with this, try this one out.